how much are you hearing from constituents, small business owners that, hey, um, I need that money and, the, you know, the, the, the fund's running out? How, what's going to happen with that? Yeah, we need to uh, replenish that fund. And unfortunately, uh, the Senate tried to do that last week and politics got in the way. Uh, rather than just replenish this fund, they were talking about money for a whole range of other things. And we ought to replenish this fund right now. We can take care of those other things when they're needed. This is needed right now. So how do you anticipate that going and how is that happening? Because it, I saw there's some new bill out today. Um, I think Representative Ryan, he's from Ohio, and some other guy, they introduced something talking about giving people $2,000 a month during the pandemic. I mean, obviously these things have to pass, but... Is, is getting more money for PPP going to be a hard sell, do you think? Or what do you think is going to go on? Well, it shouldn't be. The money is necessary. We've got small businesses all across the country who are really hurt. They're, they're shuttered uh, through no fault of their own. America's small businesses are the backbone of the economy. About mm -hmm. half of the people who work in America work for a small business. About 70% of the new jobs in America uh, are created by small businesses. So we need to help them. This plan uh, has worked tremendously. It's not perfect, but it's worked well, so well, uh, that it's going to be out of money within the next couple of days. So we need to make sure that that money is available. Uh, Secretary of the Treasury Mnuchin uh, has been in uh, talks with, we believe, the uh, both the House and uh, Senate uh, leadership. And uh, we need to put politics aside in this, unfortunately. Uh, uh, that's rare in Washington, mm -hmm. and uh, but we need to get this the, the money back where it needs to go, and that's to America's small businesses. How much more money do you think that they need for that fund? Well, the president had suggested two hundred and fifty billion dollars. Uh, if you add that to the three fifty that that the first tranche had, that would be six hundred billion dollars. Uh, that would be a good start. Uh, it may need more than that at some point, but uh, I think that would ensure that most uh, small businesses at least. For, at least for the next uh, few weeks or so, uh, would have access to the money they need uh, to actually reopen. And hopefully business will be able to reopen in the near future, too. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. I mean, it seems like every, everybody's chomping at the bit. Everybody wants to get back to, to normal. Nobody wants to get sick. Um, I think Governor DeWine said today no, probably no concerts or sporting events until we get a vaccine. I mean, do you really think we can reopen soon i mean do you really think after may 1st ohio can reopen i mean what are you thinking of that well i hope so uh but ultimately it's on a state-by-state -state, uh basis and i think as we all know government uh excuse me i'll say that again if i can i, sure. I got my words messed up there yeah um i think we'd all like to get uh businesses and reopen our, our country uh, as soon as possible, whether it's going to be May 1st or exactly when that will be remains to be seen. Uh, Governor DeWine has been uh, very active, very aggressive, and, and has put together um, a, uh, a, a task force basically to make a recommendation as to what we ought to do here in Ohio. Mm -hmm. um, but every state's a little different. And, and some, New York, for example, that was hit a lot harder, especially the city, uh, than other parts of the country. So it's going to be on a state-by-state -state basis. And we need to do it safely. We need to uh, defer to some degree to the, uh, a considerable degree, to the medical experts. Um, but we all have to uh, make this decision, I, I think, together. Mm -hmm. The, um, you know, I was going to ask you, the World Health Organization, the president said, uh, you know, kind of officially yesterday, he didn't think any more American funding should go to the WHO until they got to the bottom of what happened. There was obviously a breakdown here somewhere. What are your thoughts on that? Well, the WHO has a reputation uh, for not being the most efficient organization as it ought to be when you're considering a world health organization. Mm -hmm. um, they, for example, have uh, – the Chinese have been so influential that they've kept Taiwan out. They used to have what was called observer status. Uh, China has objected uh, to, to Taiwan being in there, which I think is, is pretty outrageous. Uh, they also have covered up uh, – a lot of the facts relative to how this got started in Wuhan uh, mm -hmm. initially. Mm -hmm. um, so they have not been a particularly uh, uh, progressive or helpful uh, entity. Um, that, that being said, the president is a, uh, uh, he's a negotiator and he's talked about, uh, you know, stopping the funding. And I think that's because he wants these reforms to happen 
can happen now, and I think um, I think that's commendable as to whether we ought to be uh, defunding it or not. You know, that's 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 above my pay grade. But I would say this: um, I offered uh, legislation along with uh, a Democratic congressman uh, from Virginia, Jerry Connolly, and and legislation uh, is called the Global Health Security Act. Uh, if we could get that passed in law, we actually introduced that prior. Uh, to the coronavirus uh, pandemic even even starting, mm-hmm. uh, it would have put us in a better position and, and in the future to make sure that pandemics like this uh, don't get outside the country that they that they start in. Mm-hmm. Um, and it would also require that uh, we have a permanent person at the federal level of government who's in charge of keeping us safe uh, relative to these pandemics. And, and uh, so we, we need to do that. Do you, do you think that the government, um, you know, there's been a lot of talk about, you know, did we act quickly enough? You know, did we respond, did the federal government respond quickly enough to this? Where, do you have any feelings on that? Well, certainly, you know, uh, with, with uh, 2020 hindsight, uh, there's always things that you could look at and say, well, we should have done this better, that better. I think the president clearly made the right decision. Uh, in preventing, uh, you know, more and more people from China at that critical time from coming into the United States, probably mm-hmm. saved thousands and thousands of lives. Mm-hmm. But uh, we should learn from any mistakes that were made. We should make sure that you keep politics as much as possible out of it. Let the medical experts give us the advice on this, and then follow that advice to make sure that we're safer next time. Yeah. Anything else you would like to talk about? I think you pretty much covered everything. <laughs> yeah, 